Now, one of the best parts about being in a hospital, cough, cough, is the food. Look at that. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, Janice is uh, indisposed at this time. She is sleeping. She's right, right, right there. Anyways, um, obviously, we're still here in the hospital. The doctor came by, checked her out. Everything is going well. Uh, don't know how much longer we're going to be here, but it's okay, we're here, she's feeling good-ish, as well, as well as she can be while being in the hospital. Um, all the tests have come back pretty much normal, they did some more stool samples, um, she did have a slightly elevated white count, uh, white blood cell count, so she, they put her on some uh, IV antibiotics and stuff like that. Uh, now it's just monitoring her to see what's going to happen. The uh, fluids, all that's going to continue, and just lots of rest. So, for right now, this is going to be the update. It is Christmas morning. Now, we just have to wait and see what's going to happen. Now, one of the best parts about being in a hospital, cough, cough, is the food. Look at that. Ugh. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Chicken bacon's pretty good. Pancakes are good, plus they give you milk and cereal and some apple juice. Janice is just, uh, as you can tell, still sleeping. They gave her some medication for some stomach issues. And now she's just really sleepy, obviously. She hasn't been taking some of her narcolepsy medication. Well, Janice is finally up and at it a little bit. She's going to try to devour some of her breakfast. Uh, one of the things that the doctors came in and told, talked to us about yesterday was that during her colon and endoscopy, everything looked normal and healthy 100%. The problem is that every, th every time he touched something, it turned really irritated and red. So he's like, that's it. That could mean inflammation. It could mean uh, infection, stuff like that. So the treatment plan that he has put her on is basically of Crohn's disease. So he's like, it's not ruled out 100%. You could possibly have Crohn's disease. And um, I'm a little bit jealous, but, um, you know, that's the, the course of action right now is treating her with that and uh, seeing how she responds to it and then continue with more testing and things like that, like the smart pill cam to get a definitive answer. Luckily, we do have an appointment with the GI as a follow-up on Thursday? I don't know. So someday we have a follow-up with him. I don't remember. It's in my phone. And um, we're going to discuss, you know, the uh, reports of the biopsies, see what's going to be happening, what's going to be the next step from here, as well as um, early Tuesday morning, once his office opens back up, I'm going to call and, uh, you know, see what we can do to get the uh, smart pill cam, like, scheduled, and go from there. Another test that we could possibly be doing for her is like the markers test. So you swallow a pill and inside that pill there's 30 little like marker little ball thingies and um, it kind of leaves like a metallic residue all throughout your colon. And what they do is they take x-rays at day like 1, 3, and 5 and they see the function of your colon to see if it's actually successfully pushing everything to where it has to go. And uh, that's another test to see if her colon is functioning properly. First is the smart pill cam, and then that one, if it's necessary. So at least we're happy because we do have a, a course, a plan of action of if one test and another, and then we're going to keep going from there, so. Well, everyone, we are here. We're going to be spending the day here, right, babe? We'll be watching some, uh, Christmas some, movies. some good Christmas movies. And uh, that's pretty much it for the day. The GI and the primary that came by, you know, saying everything is good, but, uh, more rest, fluids, medication. She should be good to go soon, hopefully. Um, but for right now, we are going to be staying another day. Um, anything else, babe? Shinobu's there. He's going to be... He, he, he wants to go home. Right, babe? But anyways. Oh. Bye, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye. Uh, that's, that's, that's Maida. <laughs> Merry Christmas and hope it's fabulous and wonderful.